With that armor, you will sure to look lost. Dongasu, your vessel could use improvements. Safe travels, Captain. Skurlock's kicked the Ornette's nest. French ships are cruising all over the coast. How's he gonna wriggle out this one? Let's keep our business quiet. Of course, Skurlock has rats in his cellar. Like attracts like. Luck can only get you so far. You need to keep hunting, stealing, growing. Doesn't matter, Captain. We'll deal with Skurlock's treachery later.
Bombards pack a mean punch. I hear Skurlock is on the warpath. Be careful you don't fall into his crosshairs. Devils and blacksmiths like fire. Bring more coin, and I'll smith you more steel. Hmm. You still have some way to go to make your mark. Coming into our own, eh?
Get hit! You are going to the bottom!
shattered pieces of your legs! Hey boys! Oh, don't 
mansions here, the old man say, Goodbye, fare ye well, goodbye, fare ye well. Cause to haunches here, the old man say, Hurrah, me boys, we're homeward bound. We're homeward bound to Liverpool town. Goodbye, fare ye well, goodbye, fare ye well. We're all in them shooties, they will come down. You're becoming infamous. Hello! There's a few new faces recently, but yours is the face everyone is talking about. Welcome to Saint Anne. This oasis of joy is Le Pont Muet. An odd name for a lively place, I grant you. <laughs> I'm the owner, but also the barkeep. Mixing and making drinks is my passion, among other things. <laughs> If you're adventurous, try one of my blends. If you just want the best rum in all the seven seas, you can get that too. Come in, put your feet up and let your guard down. Enjoy some peace and pleasure. A word to the wise though. Make your waves outside, not in here. I'm not as sweet as I look, hmm? <laughs> you understand me, Galbi? Good. But listen to me doing all the talking. You must be thirsty. What's your poison? Only my oasis of cool drinks and thirsty travelers enjoying the shade. Well, what do you drink? They say the truth is a double-edged sword. It cuts both ways. But all right, friend. The truth. This is how it works. Before our little family, there were some big fish around here eating all the little fish. That's not good for business. So, we offered a service that evened the odds. Now, everyone has a chance. You might still get eaten, mind. But you might get fed too, and fed well. All we ask in return is a reasonable one-time donation. 
and discretion. So, that's it. What do you say? Are you sure you want to turn the golden wheel? All right then, no telling now. Make it a name for yourself. Equip your ship with weapons to match your reputation. They'll steer clear for now. Here. You'll never miss the water until the well runs dry. I do miss my family. You're not so bad for a road. You're always welcome. Let's do some business. I heard you're interested in our little service. You want to make your mark and do some business in the Red Isle? All right, friend. We have a few places still available. Are you in? All right, then. No telling now. So this little anchovy threw a fin, hey? I heard them speak of you like a vicious shark. You there, stop gawking. We shall speak again. Sorel is the greatest tailspinner of our time. 
Of course the companion you want is here. I hear the writer's even gone in to hide it. How will we be able to read more of his great works? It's the companion. You ruin everything. They even put up a poster in the tavern here. Five thousand silver reward for the capture alive of writer Jacques Sorel of children's book Kit the Tiger fame. Suspected of withholding knowledge in regards to the Shadow Pirate Heist. Last seen living in the mansion at top of the hill in the settlement of Saint Amélie, but has not been there for several weeks. A rat tried to pay me off. Your infamy continues to rise. Soon all will shiver in your wake. You made it back. Sir Caradec's mortal after all. The fiercest French captain, fallen by your hand. Not as much as what coin shall flow our way, now that Caradec rots. Yeah, I had talks with Caradec, that glory-blinded fool. You see, he slobbered at the thought of killing a pirate captain as storied as you. So, I made you not only the bait, but also the hook and instrument of death. The trap was not laid for you, it was always for Karadek. Now, the Compagnie has lost their hero, and the rats their master. None dare oppose us. The world is ours for the taking. I shimmer down those cheeks, Cully. I ever led you astray before. <laughs> the captain who escorted the Exeter. You remember that mangy look on your face when you first stumbled in? Now look at you. You gained power over your enemies, made a name for yourself all through the Red Eye. Word is, Admiral Brahma in the East wants to meet with you. No doubt, she'll hear of the Karadek slaying boots to the Compagnie's throat pirate you have become. From yours truly, of course. The Admiral could use an enterprising pirate like yourself in a drawn-out rebellion against the Dutch. 
return. She'll fill your hull with treasures from the East that we St. Anne pirates only dream about. Do this, Cully, and you can have a fleet of your own and captains to snap at your coattails. Who knows? Maybe one day you might even become a kingpin. Like me. Most importantly, you've come out in my corner. I'll give you that. Not many sea dogs I would toast to these days, you know. My thanks to you, Cully. The den's always open for more work. Next time we cross paths, may the seas and skies be less fucking aflame. <laughs> Dear Papa, thank you so much for the lamba you sent us. Such a peculiar garment, I truly treasure it. All is well here. Mama misses you so, and Grandma Charlotte finally recovered from that ghastly flu. And you'll never guess what she told me. She claims Bloody Bones was her sister. Is that the flu talking, or is she having a laugh? You must have heard of Bloody Bones. I read her tale in Indian Ocean's most infamous pirates. She never stole from her victims, but rather stuffed all their silver and rubies and pearls down their throats. How particularly gruesome. But Grandma Charlotte says Bloody Bones had a secret. She would always keep the sapphires. Intriguing, isn't it? Unless she's pulling my leg. In any case, I did some digging for you, Papa. The book says she once took down a mighty French frigate, and the wreck is still untouched to this day. Near Hovo Hovo, they say. Funny name, that. Maybe you'll be the one to find her sapphires, and I can read about you in the next edition of Most Infamous Pirates. and sisters rejoice the beautiful black brigantine that once conquered the seas has finally been stolen and is now on a fucking rampage as you recall the companion bastards fear the ship yet they still docked it in their harbor for years why you ask it's the curse indeed my cullies i too find the companion a bunch of brainless idiots Haunted, they say. Cursed, they say. Even their own privateers refuse to sail it. But you know what I say? Those fuckers can fear spirits and ghosts all day long, while we delight in the carnage that is the Ashen Corsair. Curse? The curse was keeping this warship caged. Look what it can do now. Three merchant ships sunk in one week. All that cargo and silver gobbled up, and oh, they're not done yet. Clearly ships are no longer enough for her. They were last seen plundering Garand, and at this rate they'll be richer than Skurlock in a month. <laughs> Don't tell him I said that. <laughs> 